whether it's Vince Lombardi with his group of guys in the 1960s with the Packers, or Chuck Knoll with the Steelers of the 70s, or Bill Walsh with Joe Montana in the 80s, or Tom Landry with Roger Staubach in the 70s, or specifically Bill Belichick, who had Tom Brady throughout. Those guys are doing it with consistency in roster. They know they can turn to Mean Joe Green to do this, to Joe Montana to do that, to Tom Brady to bail them out of this situation. But imagine if any of those coaches were asked to win a Super Bowl with a different roster almost every year, certainly every two or three years. I mean, Bill Belichick has won five Super Bowls, but at the end of the day, what is the final constant? Tom Brady's the guy under center when it matters most. Nick Saban just took a kid from Hawaii that had never taken a snap in a big game that had significance and it wasn't a Bama blowout and said, kid, you're ready for this. Go win this football game. And the kid does. I mean, the simple fact of the matter is, what Tua brings to the table is completely different than Jalen Hurts. Completely different. This was like Bill Belichick turning to Jacoby Brissett last year in the third quarter of the Super Bowl and saying, you lead the comeback. It wasn't even Jimmy Garoppolo. Tua brought uncertainty, brought inexperience, but brought a different playmaking and a different downfield threat and a different demeanor. And it ends up paying dividends because in overtime, that's one of the best throws in a big spot in a college football game.